welcome back to a, another build video um, this is a build video for my updated um, DK bash build one bar which is called the uh, bash fury uh, DK uh, so I've it's very similar to what I released uh, probably about four or five months ago but this has been updated so it's got much better uh, recoveries and it's much more sustainable um, and it's much more effective so um, we'll jump straight into uh, the sets I've changed it a little bit um, but not too much uh, so still running a sword of the veiled heritance uh, which are with an oblivion enchant because that will uh, get through uh, arcanists and people shielding so I believe that's probably the best enchantment to put on um, decisive so you've got some ultimate gain uh, the shield is of the Veiled Heritance um, with a max health enchantment uh, reinforced. Now uh, that's not part of the build. This is just a one bar. Uh, so the head is a heavy Baron Thursk's visage uh, with a max health enchantment uh, reinforced and that will give you two lines of recovery. Uh, the chest is Deadlands Demolisher Caras um, reinforced with a multi-effect enchantment uh, the shoulders are Deadlands Demolisher heavy reinforced multi-effect enchantment uh, the waist is uh, the girdle of the Veiled Heritance uh, impenetrable um, that's heavy uh, with a multi-effect enchantment uh, the hands are dead, Deadlands Demolisher's gauntlets reinforced with a multi-effect enchantment uh, the legs are Deadlands Demolisher's greaves and um, they're heavy multi-effect enchantment reinforced uh, the feet are Deadlands Demolisher's Sabtons uh, they are reinforced with a multi-effect and we've got a necklace of the Veiled Heritance um, all three jewellery are with the Bash enchantment and all infused we've got a ring of the Veiled Heritance and of course we've got the Oaken Soul Ring uh, so like I said this is an updated build that I done about four or five months ago uh, so if we just quickly buff up and just see the uh, see the bash damage real quick so a flat bash damage of 6237 that's not too bad uh, but if we buff up with the vigor and the chain that's going to push us to nearly 6.8k bash damage which is plenty um, you can go higher but I've tried to balance this build as best as I can on a one bar so um, you can't get really more damage on a one bar without um, going two bar but I believe you know around nearly 7k bash damage is enough right so um, we'll just jump into the skills the skills have remained the same I did look at the skills but I can't really see there's much you can do um, I think it's perfect the way it is so we're running the uh, shattering rocks um, which will give you um, it will, it's basically your CC so you'll stun them, you'll CC them and when it ends you get um, some health as well which is quite nice you've got your coagulating blood um, that's gonna, you're just your burst heal basically uh, or just a heal over time you've got your power slam uh, which hits super hard um, that's your main sort of spammable um, also reduces your cost, you get resentment if you uh, block your attack, you um, it reduces the cost of your next power slam, it's considered bash damage so um, we've got chains of devastation which is an amazing skill um, people do not use this enough in PvP, I don't know why it works really well on a bash damage, um, you get major expedition because you're slow because you're running mostly all heavy, or I think, I think it's all heavy sorry, let me just double check yep it's all heavy you can run one medium um, but just like I said you just I prefer just all heavy um, like I said you're going to be slow uh, but it's not a problem because this is your gap closer and you also get major expedition um, it's brilliant for sorcerers um, if you check the footage of the live stream I did yesterday um, I've got a couple of live streams running this build it's exactly the same as this but I just haven't got the undaunted or um, I'm an orc so it's no different I'm a Nord on this um, so it's running that build, I've got a 35 kills and 5 deaths on a BG and there's also some streams of me chasing sorcerers that are you know streaking away and that chain is just pulling you on them all the time and he just could not get away from me 
Um, so it's a brilliant gap closer for sorcerers. Um, they really hate um, when you're using this on a bash build because they're just trying to get away from you. You know, when you've pummeled them to bits and they're just trying to escape and they just cannot escape. So really, really good skill. Um, it will also get the Major Berserk as well, so that, that gives you 10% damage done. Anything that says damage done is going to buff the bash damage. Um, so we use that, um, and that's really, really good. And of course we've got the Vigor, which is another heal over time, and you get the Mind Resolve, which is going to buff your resistances. And of course the bread and butter of the main build uh, is the Corrosive Armor, which again is centered around this, so when you're not in Corrosive, you want to make sure um, that you're just sort of more on the defence. You can still kill people even though you've got no pen. Um, but when you hit this, you're going to get full pen. It's going to limit the damage you take. Um, and you also deal poison damage. It's super strong. Um, it has been nerfed where you don't gain ultimate. Um, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's really affected the build too much. You just gain ultimate a little bit slower, unfortunately. But it's not a problem. But I will show you something where you can enhance it a little bit more if you wanted to um, so make sure you have all your passives in your class passives of course um, all your passives in your one handed and shield um, all your passives in heavy armour you don't need light or medium unless you're running, running uh, one piece of medium but I'll just go all heavy to be honest as all heavy um, increases your damage done with bash by 30 so just every piece you put on you're going to get more health and more bash damage um, I said yeah, the penalties is of course like the movement speed um, you know the increase the size of your detection you're not going to be sneaking so it doesn't really matter you do take more damage from magical attacks um, that's the only downside but you can run one medium if you want um, I just prefer not to um, make sure you have undaunted because it's going to make them bars bigger which is very um, very useful I'm not getting the full bonus because I'm running just heavy but if you you could run one light medium and heavy to get bigger bigger stat bars but I don't think it's personally worth it because you if you put light on it drops your bash damage which is not really what you want so but it's up to you it still would still work uh, make sure you have your assault and support line passives like I said I'm running a Nord on this and I'll talk about race in a minute um, and also make sure you have your medicinal use so your potions last longer um, so I've shown you the bash damage let's just show it uh, fully buffed uh, sort of like resistance wise uh, so resistance wise you're getting you know upwards nearly 39k spell resistance the health is at 31 which I think is about right I don't really want to go lower than that stamina is at 25 just over 25k so you've got a nice big stamina bar Magical bar is a little bit small, but it's you know it's manageable. And the reason it's manageable is because previously, in the build that I'd done about four months ago, bring the pain. I think it was on the video. <coughs> it was a good build, but there was it was always lacking that uh, recovery. And so now I've managed to make the build have that nice, nice recovery. So I'll quickly show the food I'm running. I've not I've dropped the bewitch sugar skulls, which pains me to do so because I do love bewitch sugar skulls but you just need that recovery and smoke bear haunch is just top notch just perfect for most builds and it's brilliant for the bash build so chuck that on and the serpent mundus for your recovery is the best I think I did have lady or the lord to boost your health or resistances but really your stamina is best um, you do lose a little bit of um, bash damage because obviously bash scales off your resistances and damage done bonuses and pure bash sources um, but you're not going to lose a lot and um, there's not a lot in it so you're better off running the serpent so we'll just show the uh, stats fully buffed uh, recovery should I say if I can get there so you've got 2000 stamina recovery which is amazing you've got nearly 2000 health recovery and 1600 magicka recovery um, so that's really nice um, you've got nice stronger recoveries plenty to work with you've got big stamina bar big stamina recovery um, it's nice to work with and as you'll notice the penetration like I said before we're not investing anything into penetration because it's not really needed the bashes still hurt a lot of people I've killed a lot of people without even not even using the ultimate but once you pop the ultimate of course I'll quickly show you the stats 
you're going to get that 100,000 spell and physical penetration, which is basically 100%. And then you can just, you know, start bashing and attacking people, and they are just going to go quick unless they really, really know what they're doing. So um, I'll also show you the champion points, then we'll discuss the race and the build a bit more in depth. Uh, green is sort of up to you, but of course you just want the Steed's Blessing for movement. Liquid efficiency for your potions, because potions are expensive, so put chuck that on. Put your rationer on, because again, you're using smoked bear haunch, it's an expensive food, so you want it to last as long as possible. Um, the blue CP, I'd recommend fighting finesse for the critical and healing damage extra. Exploiter, because you're going to be knocking people off balance all the time, so you're going to get another 10% damage done bonus. And your master at arms and deadly aim for some more direct damage bonuses, 6% each. You can muck around with it if you want. Um, I don't think there's really a lot in it if you, you could put that on, but I don't think the resistances is going to help. You're better off having 6% damage done rather than the resistances because even though it's going to push your bash damage up, it's not going to push it up by much. That's going to push your damage up more. And if you feel a little bit squishy, you shouldn't feel squishy because you've got high resistances, but if you need to, because like there isn't a lot of critical resistance on the build, um, you can chuck on uh, resilience if you need to. Um, and we'll go to the red CP. Oh, what's going on here? Right, so yeah, Pain's Refuge for reducing the damage taken of your negative effect. You've always got negative effects on you, so it's brilliant. Um, rejuvenation for more recovery. Fortify for more armor. And Boundless Vitality for more health. Again, you can play around with these. If you're dealing with a lot of Arcanists and Sorcerers, you can slot on Bastion to punch through. It's going to increase your fear you're going to get at 15% damage done bonus against them so it's really going to punch them down yeah, I think you can use also survival instincts it's going to make your bash user cheaper um, but again I just wanted to put more into recoveries um, so yeah that's pretty much the whole build covered um, just a quick recap uh, you've got all 64 points into stamina as well if I forgot to mention that I did originally had it in health um, just to make you more tankier, and yes it does make you more tankier, but I just would recommend having a bigger stamina bar, a lot of people have recommended me to have a bigger stamina bar, um, it's definitely helped out, um, and you've got the nice recoveries as well. Uh, the critical damage is not particularly high on the build, uh, so you're 20% almost, and then add the 50 up at 70%, but like I said the main, you can crit on bashes, but um, this is not really a uh, this is more of a balanced build uh, with recoveries and resistance in mind and you're not really pushing damage you can push damage on a bash that build more um, with two bar like I said you can get higher bash damage and higher crit damage um, but that'll be for another build maybe this is more just a simpler planar very effective higher recovery build with higher resistances um, but like I said if you want the critical a bit higher you can chuck on uh, Nibbany Bay helmet um, I give you about 400 or 500 or just change the CP to resilience and you get around 2k uh, crit resistance if you need to but I feel it's not particularly needed um, I'd rather have the recoveries because when you're in corrosive it's going to limit the amount of damage you take anyway and that's what you're centering it around right so we'll go into the actual uh, main points of the build so um Again, I'll discuss race. Race is a bit difficult with bash builds. It took me a while to get my head around because I'm an orc on PC and funny enough, I think orc is probably the best race. Um, number one would be Khajiit. Um, if you're going crit damage, if you're stacking more crit damage, go with Khajiit. Um, if you want more defences and the ultimate faster, then go Nord. Um, if you want more damage, funny enough, I thought orc would be worse because it only gives you it only gives you like weapon and spell damage and it gives you a line of health and stamina which is nice but I didn't realise that power slam it doesn't scale off armour res resistances apparently it scales, I don't know why they make it so confusing but power slam scales off your bash damage and your weapon and spell damage so having that extra weapon and spell damage from orc is not wasted whereas before I thought it was wasted so it's not wasted so a damage race is definitely viable on a bash build so don't just discredit and go oh, I've got changed to Nord um, you haven't you know so 
I'll just run it again so Khajiit is for if you're running into more crit damage and you know um, if you want more resistances and ult gain you run Nord if you want more uh, damage from your power slams and movement speed then you run Orc if you just want more raw damage um, just run like say uh, Dark Elf or High Elf um, you know so you can pretty much run any race to be honest you can even run a wood elf for more penetration if you just want a bit more on the side and more recoveries or if you want um, lower cost reductions um, you could run imperial or um, even Breton so really do not stress about what race it was because I used to stress about especially with the bash build oh, I wish I was a Nord or I wish I was this really it's just preference what you want they all work so it's not a problem um, but Nord does give the old game which is very nice um, but like I said I'm not really getting much bonus to damage um, but like I said the Orc is probably good because you get the movement speed uh, buff as well because you're very slow um, but yeah so that's pretty much it all covered so I'll sort of go into the main uh, how you would uh, set this up as a, like attacking someone so obviously before you attack someone um, you just want to come in um, make sure your vigor is buffed and obviously your um, I forget what it's called now your coagulating blood so yeah, that's the t yes your two buffs you come in with a chain you CC him with X and then you obviously just start bashing spamming power slam and actually bash and then that's pretty much all you got to do and then just keep chaining them if they run away See, so keep re-CCing them if they're still going and just keep your two little uh, healing buffs up which is vigor and coagulating blood and like I said even as you can see with no pen you can still get reasonable numbers you can still drop people um, and that's pretty much it guys but again if you're like I said if you're not in ultimate um, just play a little bit more defensive don't go too crazy because you are obviously a little bit vulnerable not super vulnerable because your resistances are still high you can still take a beating um, but just be a little bit more mindful um, and I always pop my tri potions in between corrosive ult um, because when you hit corrosive it will restore all your bars anyway uh, to fall I'm pretty sure so only use your tri pots in between ultimate the ultimate still comes stacks up and you'll get ultimate pretty quick like I said it just doesn't build in the ultimate they've nerfed it um, but like I said it's not the dearest of ultimates you do get it fairly quickly it lasts for 12 seconds, it lasts a long time. I've popped that and then wiped out like a whole team of four on the BG. It really, really is punishing. Um, so yeah, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so another thing, again, this is totally preference, it's up to you. I would personally not run a vampire. Um, but you can run vampire if you want to for the extra tankiness, but it's going to make your abilities cost a bit more. So I've actually opted for a no vampire. So you're going to get the health recovery at nearly 2k. So you you know your health is going to be returned quite often. You're not totally dependent on your heals um, from vigor and coagulating blood. But you can run if you want to be more tanky and you still feel squishy. Like I said, chuck on resilient CP for some more crit resist, or you can chuck on um, Nibbany Bay for some more crit resist. And, and like I said you can chuck on vampire for the undeath passive but just be wary it will sap into your um, ability costs I think it's when you get to stage 3 which is what you need for the undeath passive you know that I think it's at 8% cost increase to all your abilities including your ultimate and you know your roll dodging everything you do so I'm pretty sure it's everything I don't think it's just the skills um, but I could be wrong it might just be the skills but like I said, it does sap in, it does eat into your your bars and your recovery. So it's just preference. Do you want the recoveries, or do you want you know more sustainable, or do you want to be more tankier? So um, yeah, uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything on the build now. I've explained it quite in depth. If uh, people are interested, like I said, you know, and show you the rotation. You know, it's very simple, easy rotation. Get your buffs up, chain in, CC, and just spam your bashes and power slams away um, let's see if you get in a tight spot get away um, another good thing with the chains I say you can get rid of them pesky salks you know they try and get away from you because they get away from a lot of people a lot of people struggle to catch up with them unless you're a salt yourself 
but as I that change you can it's got quite a good range it's not a crazy range like if they do streak too far away then you won't get them if they do one streak and you get that chain in time and quickly enough you'll grab them and it'll pull you towards them and they do another streak and then you grab them and you know they're out of magicka and that is when they're in trouble so change is really really good also it's really brilliant on uh, say if you're mounted if you see someone mounted and they're trying to run away or they're running past you um, you know pop your ult you know have all your buffs up pop your ult you can just keep chaining them chaining them chaining them and you can spam it quite a bit like four or five times and it drops them dismounts them off the holes you see see them kill them gone I've done that a lot of times right and we'll say some obviously um, this build like I said it will literally kill most players you know what I mean most people don't know how to deal with bash builds um, they get very confused and just get overwhelmed it's very very effective against arcanists because they uh, doing that beam which is very powerful that beam um, it does eat it does really damage you a lot but if you use the bash um, it interrupts them and just knocks them silly same with templars so they really really hate bash builds um, because it really really messes with their day any channeled abilities you're going to interrupt and just destroy them quickly um, but the negatives I would say of the bash build uh, there is some drawbacks it won't kill super super top end you know top 1% players because they probably um, have really high block mitigation and know what you're doing so if you want to kill a high end player you have to overwhelm and kill them quickly you don't want to be just should do a quick demonstration you don't want to be coming in and just playing defensive and you know really you've really got a um, come in steaming super hot you know just CCM really go to town and really smash them and kill them very quickly before they've got a chance to shield up turtle up and start blocking all your mitigation um, you know m yeah mitigate all your damage basically so um, high end players might be able to react to this but again don't let them react you have to hit them super I mean in a duel it's probably not great because people will know if you, they know you're on a bash build then you know they're gonna know what you're doing so they know they're ready to block and stuff so you've got to, but the CC will stop them blocking you can you can get through them um, but the element of surprise is key you know and fast quick don't make a long drawn out fight if you can you can still win them but ideally you just want to be fast aggressive in and out gone um, but I said the things it does really struggle with is yeah people with high mobility like really high mobility kite blades night blades should I say or kite blades if they've got super high mobility they just run rings around you it's a very frustrating but like I said not every build can defeat every build uh, but there we go yeah that is that is the build um, like I said if you want footage just check the live streams I've done um, of the DK bash mayhem um, I've put up quite a few I've got some really good BGs on there and some really good kills of the building action it's exactly the same as I've said it's just that I've got an orc and I haven't got the undaunted and I'm a vampire and, but this is I think the build absolutely perfected on one bar DK I don't think it can get any better than this um, as it stands if you want to run it as a one bar um, so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video of, of the very in-depth guide that I've done so hopefully people will understand bash builds a little bit more um, please drop this video a like if you found it a really good build and very helpful if you've got any questions or comments or any feedback just drop it in the comment section below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as I do lots of builds and guides and all sorts of stuff to help and support the community and I've also got a membership if you really want to support me any further it's not an expensive membership it's only a couple of quid um, and you'll get access to my builds a little bit quicker and um, I also prioritize comments uh, to you and help you out with anything you need so yeah that's it guys I'll see you in the next one